Hey everyone, today I'm going to be seeing if it's possible to run a track relay with a tray full of food using the unspillable tray. Why do things regularly spill in the first place? Well, let's see what happens when I'm moving this drink and then suddenly stop. So you can see the problem isn't that the cup stopped, the problem was that the liquid kept moving. Okay, so let's look at this closer. The reason the water comes out of the cup is because the cup stops, but the water keeps moving. So the momentum of the water wants to keep pushing it forward, but it hits the side of the cup and it gets forced upward. But what if you could actually turn your cup and catch that water again? So what I have here is called a tipsy tray. And supposedly what you do is you put all your food on this tray and then you carry it by this handle here and you can't spill your food if you carry it the right way. So let's go ahead and try it out. I'll put my drink here and a plate of food, some silverware. How about a yogurt? Okay, here we go. Okay, let's see if this actually works. So you're supposed to carry it with a loose grip. So far, so good. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's like it's stuck to the tray. Nothing's coming off. Look at the water. <laughs> okay, this is actually pretty crazy. This works way better than I thought it was going to. It's almost like this is fake food and fake liquid and it's just glued to the bottom here. But it's not glued at all. I can pretty much make any movement I want and it doesn't spill. As long as I keep a pretty loose grip on it and let it go where it wants to go, it doesn't spill. So in order to test this out in an extreme situation, I convinced an entire track team to try to run a relay with this tray full of food. At first they were skeptical, but then I convinced them it was possible by spinning the entire tray in a full 360. Okay, it worked. <laughs> Some of them didn't even believe me that it was real food. <laughs> I think it's fake. <laughs> it's not fake. <laughs> And it really does look like that. My bowl full of rice and corn, none of the rice kernels even slid around or did anything. So it looks pretty fake on there. Okay, let's see if this actually works. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Through the entire sprint, nothing fell off the tray. They were even able to hand it off without any problems. But then this happened in a later handoff. <laughs> Fail! <laughs> so it turns out the unspillable tray isn't a great baton. So it didn't actually get off balance and spill. I think it was just too wide and it hit her knee as she was running. Now before we continue, I'd like to thank the sponsor for this video, BetterHelp. If you've ever felt depressed, stressed, or anxious, or overwhelmed, you aren't alone. These past few years have been tough on everyone, including myself. You can do some things on your own like exercise or meditation to help you feel better, but one of the best ways to help you overcome these feelings is by speaking with professionals. At BetterHelp, you can talk to your therapist in a private online environment at your convenience. And there's a broad range of expertise at BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. All you do is just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you get matched with the therapist in under 48 hours. So join the 2 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. You can get 10% off your first month if you go to betterhelp.com slash action lab or click the link in my description. And thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to our experiment. The way this is working is similar to why you can spin a bucket full of water around in a complete circle and the water doesn't come <laughs> out of fine. the bucket. As long as the food and the container and the tray are always moving in the same way, then the food won't spill out. The way you get this to happen is by having a naturally balanced pivot point at the center of the tray. So whenever you're moving and then suddenly stop, the tray and all the contents want to keep moving in a straight line and you're holding it so it can't keep moving linearly, but it can move radially around in a circle. So the tray naturally moves in the path that the container and the food were going to go anyways due to their momentum. So their linear momentum gets turned into angular momentum and everything swings with the same frequency. 
Now also, before we end, a lot of you have really enjoyed my videos about the blackest black paint, especially the Musso black one. Well, it just so happens to be that my wife is an artist, and she created a really cool painting with an astronaut looking at a black hole in space. And what she did is she painted the inside of the black hole with Musso black. So it makes the inside of the black hole look completely black. It's really cool. Now she can't paint this painting for all of you, so what we did is we went ahead and printed high quality reprints of this painting. And then my wife went through and repainted over the only the black hole portion with Musso Black. So you can actually order your own painting with real Musso Black hand painted on the black hole, which looks really cool. So I'll have these for sale for a limited time at theactionlab.com. I'll put a link in my description as well and you can click on it and get one of your very own Musso Black black holes. And thanks again for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet or hit the bell so that you can be notified when I release my latest video.